Thanks for joining us. Kickoff is just moments away in the Seattle Seahawks and New England Patriots matchup, and football fans are not the only ones excited about the big game. Local businesses are reaping the benefits of the hype, and restaurants and bars aren't the only ones cashing in. News Sends Lindsay Yates has more on the crowds. From wings to appetizers and dessert, any fan knows this is the staple of a good big game party. My favorite part is um, I just like the food a lot. Uh, eating and being with friends. They're not alone. This particular Sunday is the second biggest day of the year for food, a statistic Bob Basler is familiar with. Second only to Thanksgiving. The more than 50 employees at Basler's Market took an all hands on deck approach as they prepped for large weekend crowds. We have extra help because we, we know uh, based on years past that uh, we'll have extra business. And this year, supermarkets are seeing an even bigger boost in sales than last. The Super Bowl's a, about a 20% increase over that Saturday and Sunday over normal Saturday and Sunday. We're up another 15% over that because of the weather report. So stores ordered extra food and were busy stocking shelves to meet the demand. And can you guess the hot ticket item? Sell a few cases of avocados and uh, uh, we've, I think we've gone through 25 cases just uh, yesterday and today. But the large crowds of shoppers weren't always a given. 15 years ago, uh, Super Bowl was just another weekend for us. So as more people host at-home viewing parties, local stores continue to score big. The Super Bowl's right up there with Valentine's Day, as well as a snow scare. So those are the only three things we have going for us in the, in the months of January and February. In Terre Haute, Lindsay Yates, News 10. The average viewer of today's game will spend about $77. That's up 14% from last year.